what iPad DJ controller is right for you. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, we're gonna talk about it. Whether you're brand new to DJing with the iPad and you wanna add a controller to your setup, or if you've been DJing with the iPad for a while and the holidays are coming up or maybe a birthday's coming up and you wanna upgrade your controller, in this video, I'm gonna talk about which controller is best for whatever type of DJ that you are or that you plan on being. So let's get started. So there's different types of DJs. Some DJs are just plan on DJing at home. You know, instead of playing the Xbox, they like to DJ with DJ Pro, uh, do a little mixes, maybe uh, play some mixes for their family, maybe if they have a couple of friends come over, but they don't plan on DJing as a career or as a business which is completely fine, you know? Not everybody that has a basketball hoop at their house is gonna play in the NBA, and if you wanna DJ as a hobby, then that's perfectly fine, and it's a great activity, and it's very fun, and it's a good skill to have. So, let's start off with the DJ that plans on just DJing for a hobby. What I would recommend is to get the DJ to go to touch. I don't know if you could see it, but I have it on that shelf back there. And this controller is great for one reason, and that is so you could you could use it as an adapter to plug in your headphones and your speakers at the same time. I say it in almost all my videos. If you're gonna DJ with the iPad, now they switched over to USB-C and no headphone jack. Uh, I remember when I first started DJing and I had the iPad uh, it wasn't the iPad Pro, and it had the regular lightning connection on one side, and then it had a headphone jack on the other. I don't know if you guys remember, but Apple devices used to actually have a headphone jack. And then you could plug in your controller to the lightning connection, and then you could plug in uh, a small adapter to your headphone jack, and then you could have a professional setup with just the iPad, and you'd be able to use your headphones. Now they made it... Um, I don't know if they made it better, you, it depends who you ask if it's better, but there is no headphone jack. So if you wanted to use one of those splitters, you would need to get an adapter like this that had a port for a headphone, for a, um, an audio cable, and then you'd have to put an adapter into that. So with the I, I, the new Mark DJ to go to touch, you don't need you don't need any adapters, you just plug it into your iPad, it's powered by the iPad, and you could have hours of fun DJing with this controller. And then if you plan on doing gigs and, and, and um, progressing in your DJ, then that controller is perfectly acceptable to do gigs with. Uh, nobody's gonna care what controller you use for a gig except for maybe other DJs. So don't be embarrassed if you, just, if you have an older controller or if you're using a small controller like the DJ to go to touch or like the Hercules, um, the Hercules Starlight or the small other small Hercules controllers. So now if we go over here, let me just turn on my Bluetooth so my mouse works. If we go over here, press the middle button, and then we go to settings, and then we go to MIDI devices, we could see all of the supported DJ controllers for DJ Pro. If you use another software besides DJ Pro, to DJ with the iPad, most of these controllers, I think all of them will work with other softwares, but DJ Pro is the software that I use. So now it gives you the recommended ones, but if we click on here, view all supported DJ controllers. So I'll get back to these ones. So this one is the Hercules DJ Control Mix. This is in the same category as the I um, the Newmark DJ to go to touch, but the reason why I wouldn't recommend this controller is because it is a Bluetooth controller, which means that you don't have to plug it into the iPad with a wire, and it it's a controller that you use over Bluetooth, and there's no latency, and it, it's instant when you press the buttons. But then we it doesn't solve the problem of the headphone jack. So I would only recommend this controller if you don't ever plan on using headphones and you just want to maybe mess around with it and you're not serious at DJing at all, then I would recommend this controller. But besides that, if you plan on doing anything advanced and if you plan on using headphones, uh, this controller is not for you. So now let's step it up. So, so these controllers, this one and the Newmark one, are about 
uh, less than $100, right around the $100. Now if we step it up a little bit to this one, this is the DDJ200. It's bigger, gives you more buttons and knobs, but again, this is a smart DJ controller, so it's going to be it's going to be set up with Bluetooth, which I would only recommend if you with just like with this one, if you don't plan on using headphones at all. So, I would not recommend this controller if you plan on doing any legitimate DJing. So, let's go over to dude, where's the buddy? Where's the reloop? The reloop buddy. So this is an intermediate controller. So this is one that you've been DJing for a little bit. You plan on bringing the controller out and doing gigs, such as small parties, maybe small bar or restaurant gigs and stuff like that, but not weddings. The reason why I wouldn't recommend this controller for weddings or Sweet Sixteens or more formal events is because, unfortunately, they forgot to put a head uh. A microphone jack in it so with other controllers there's a jack for the microphone you put the microphone you can control the volume and you could use a microphone right through the controller without the need of an additional mixer or an additional setup for your microphone so this is for the person that is going to be doing small gigs small get-togethers but they don't plan on using the microphone and that's fine some people are shy some people uh they like djing they like playing the music and djing but they would never talk on the mic. So if you are a micless DJ, this controller is great for you. And it has the built-in iPad stand, but you can't use a case. Uh, it doesn't fit if you're using a case. And I would never DJ at a gig without a case. So just keep that in mind that if you plan on using a case with your iPad, that the stand is basically useless and you're gonna need an additional iPad stand. I don't know why I haven't found any controller that comes with a stand that actually works with a decent uh, case on it. So keep that in mind because I would never bring my iPad out in public without a case. So if you're an inter intermediate DJ that does not use a microphone, then this controller is for you. Uh, and especially if you like using the effects, because this has the battle style paddle effects. So if you move the switch, the effects switch up, up um, one way, it'll have the effect on for as long as you have it switched. And then you could turn it on permanently if you flip the switch down. So that's if you like to use, if you're an effects DJ that doesn't use the microphone, the Reloop Buddy is for you. And then I also want to cover the another new mark uh controller which is the new mark new mark mix, mix track platinum fx i think this is going to bring us over to amazon so this is the mix track platinum fx it's temporary out of stock on amazon but you could probably find it at local dj shops uh, i dj now or other websites now this one also has the effects paddle. It's a little bit of a bigger layout and you could, if you get the platinum version, if you get the platinum version, you it has these jog wheels that will give you information like how long the song has and um, where you are in the track. So this one I would put in the same category as, as the Reloop Buddy. It's an intermediate controller it has a, this one has a microphone input. So it's about the same price as the Reloop Buddy. And I personally wish I got this controller instead of the Reloop Buddy because it has the paddle effects and it has more information on the jog wheels. The jog wheels are actually bigger. So if you plan on scratching, if you plan on using effects, then this controller is for you if you could find it in stock. Let's go back. Okay, so now this Reloop Mix Tour, I would not recommend this one for anybody because there's no jog wheels. It's kind of confusing how to mix. I don't really understand who would want this controller, so I do not recommend that controller at all. So now we went from the $100 controllers, then we went with the with the Reloop Buddy and with the Mix Track mix track effects is around $300. So now we're going to step it up to more expensive 
with the mix on four. Let's just check the price quick. Mix track four. It's a $900 controller, but this controller is if you plan on doing professional events, weddings, sweet 16s, any type of professional, if you're taking this seriously, if you actually are making money DJing, and also if you plan on DJing with four decks. This is a four channel controller. And I know most people that use DJ Pro or DJ on the iPad aren't gonna use a four channel controller because if you look at the screen, when we switch over the four deck mode, it's really limited because you have everything squeezed into the screen. Uh, I, I sometimes use a third deck maybe to put a spare song on or some or a scratch sample or something like that. But I'm not really into DJing with four decks. But if you are a DJ that DJs with four decks, then this controller is a great professional controller. It ha It's probably the most professional controller you could get for for the iPad, and again, it has the iPad stand. I've never personally used this uh, used this controller, but I'm pretty sure that the stand will not work with uh, if you have a case on your iPad. So this is a professional DJ controller if you are take or if you're a serious DJ and you plan on DJing for a living. Now let's go down. Um, let me just check one thing. I think they make it. I think they make a mix on two. Reloop, mix on four. Yeah, no, they don't have it. And also, if you're looking for controllers, you go can go down here. Like if you find the controller at a garage sale or something, you could quickly look over here on the algorithm official website and see if it is supported with D if it is supported in the app, and then you know if you should get the controller or not. Now, another controller is, well, it's not really a controller, but it's a full CDJ system. So it is the Danon DJ LC 600 Prime. This is a club style CDJ um, deck. So you're gonna need two of these and a mixer. So you're gonna be looking at about as much as a cheap used car to have this set up. So this is if you are a professional DJ, you're used to DJing with CDJs, you've been DJing with CDJs at the clubs, at the festivals, then this controller, then this setup is for you. Also, this is a really good setup to have so that you can be, you could be DJing on what you would have to DJ with at the clubs because most of the clubs or festivals or these professional high paying gigs, they're not gonna let you bring your controller and your iPad. You're gonna have to plug in your music and DJ with these. So if you've been practicing at home with CDJs, then you will be ahead of the game once you get out there and do professional gigs. But this is a very expensive setup and a very professional setup. So just keep that in mind. And then the next setup, it would be if you wanna go with DVS mode. So DJ Pro has with their new uh, version 4 update has added DVS, which means you could use actual turntables when you're DJing with the app. This is if you want to have that aesthetic of the old school setup with turntables, if you're doing weddings, if you were, if you been DJing since the time where you, where you DJed with records, you might like the feel better. But again, this is an expensive setup and it is only if you're going to be absolutely serious about DJing with the iPad. And also, if you already have, if you've been using control vinyl for Serato or other DVS systems and you already have the equipment, then I would recommend using using that setup. I have not DJed with DVS on DJ Pro, but I would love to try it and I really hope they send me one soon. So I hope this guys this helped you guys decide which controller is right for you. And let me know in the comments if I missed any. I know there's some like the um, Rain controller that has uh, the motorized jog wheels, which I would put in the same category as as the CDJs, as the Mixon 4, because it is quite expensive. Also, you could use the Danon, um, you could use the Danon Prime 2 and 4 with DJ Pro. Again, those are expensive standalone units. So 
if you like learning about DJing and the new controllers coming out and all there is to know about DJ Pro, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.